Hey there. Huh? Where'd you go? Bunny? Bunny? Where are you? I haven't seen you in a while and I thought... Uh, Bunny? That wasn't Bunny either. It's because I'm looking at people's feet. Who knew so many people wore the same shoes? Sorry. Hope I didn't make things too awkward. Now come on. Shake yourself out of it, Tamaki. There's no reason I can't find my bunny. And everything will be fine, right? So, just gotta keep looking. I'm sure we'll find them. Right? Come on, me. Let's do our best. And we can... We could definitely find where they're off to. <laughs> could that be them? This is anxiety and dosy. But... But I gotta keep going. Where are you, Bunny? What... What are those guys doing? Th that... Can't be... Bunny... Who are these guys? They're giving you trouble? Back off. I'm not gonna warn you twice. You all need to back off right this moment. Before I lose my patience, do you have any idea who you're trying to mess with? I'm not one to brag, but I'm a top hero, so I suggest you beat it before I lose what little patience I have left. Now get out of here! Damn. You're all so... so frustrating. I don't understand it. Why? Bunny, are you okay? I... They... They weren't? Uh, I... Bunny, listen here. I don't want to be scary, but I've got your back against the wall. I want to whisper sweet nothings in your ear if I have to. Because you're mine. You're the one thing in this world I could be brave about. And I'm not giving you to anyone. What did they want? Why didn't you tell them you were taken? I... Oh, you did. And... <laughs> it may not be your fault, but I'm... <laughs> not appreciating their attitudes. Hold here. No. I got some scores to settle. They got no business. None at all being here. Messing with you. I won't allow it. And so what if I have a problem with how those guys and that girl would look like they were hitting on you? You got a problem with me protecting my bunny? I didn't think so. You look awfully small, pinned against the wall like this. What's the matter? I can't talk when your man's right in front of you. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at people who would dare try and get my bunny. I'm not gonna share you with anyone. They've got another thing coming if they think... Even for a moment, I won't destroy them. I'll... I'll... Go straight filling on their ass. And that's not an exaggeration. They're not gonna get through. And I don't stutter at all when it comes to... Putting people who touched my bunny in their place. S scary? No, I didn't mean to be scary. I'm sorry, honey. I just want to make sure you know you're my bunny, not anyone else. I'm not going to share you, and anyone who'd like to try, I'll face them. I'll put them down like the dirty dogs they are. I'm one to talk? Oh, oh yeah, there was that one time, back in 
the stall. Sorry, I might have got a little carried away there. But how could I just sit there and watch someone... Watch someone with the person I love, with my bunny. I'm sorry, but I'm no good at holding back when it comes to scumbags who'd mess with other people's loves. It's nasty. It's messed up. I have so much anger towards them. They've stolen so many things from so many people, and I have no, no respect. None for them. I can't. I can't stand it. They could try, but I'll take them down one at a time. You best believe it. There's no one. No one in this world. Not the worst supervillain or the best hero. Not even All Might himself could take me when I'm... When I'm... In that level of anger. Frustration. Determination. It all amalgamates into the same thing. I don't know how else to put it. But there's no way. No way I can let them just play around with your feelings like that. Corner you like they did. This is why I hate people. Certain people. I try not to hate everyone. Obviously, I'm not the most hateful person. But when they mess with you, it's hard to hold back. I feel like... I feel like I should take a bite out of them and show them what I'm worth. I feel like thrashing them with my strongest move until they're obliterated. But that would be terrible. I'd feel bad afterwards, I know. And that's why instead, I just have to defend you. If they want to start a fight, I'll fight. If they want to try, I'll mess them up. But I'm not gonna go. I'm not going to go and make a mess of things. I understand. There's a lot of things wrong with what I'm saying, but I don't care. Because if they're going to mess with you, they mess with me. You're mine. And I'm sick of people taking advantage of the fact that I have social anxiety and they think I'm not going to protect you. It's terrible. They're so, so frustrating. I can't stand when people, when they underestimate me. Maybe they're right to a certain extent. I do have my social anxiety to blame with my image, but that doesn't mean that I'm just some kind of pushover who's going to be okay with them making advances on my love, on my bunny. They can think that all they want, but, but I refuse. To let anyone think that they could stab you like that. Stab you in the feels or stab you in the back. It doesn't matter. I'll protect you and claim you. Because you're mine. And I'm not about to give you to anyone. Just leave everything to your man. I'm strong. Stronger than anyone. And I won't let them... I won't let a single person look at you funny, let alone the rest of it. Because I get jealous easy, just like that time when we met Bakugo on the countryside. If he ever even thinks about it, if he ever thinks of approaching us again, I'll floor him. I can't be responsible for what I'll do. So it's important. We... Stay true to each other that we have so much more time and that none of these damn extras get to get to have a moment with you. You can have friends, but I want all your time. Sun Eater is my hero name for a reason. I'm greedy. I'm so greedy. But it's because I wanna I wanna Consume all of your time and give you the best. I know it's not just the only reason, but I want you to hear me. Hear these words and feel something. Because I'm going to give you everything I got. I put everything into every hug, every kiss. 
I don't hold anything back. Even through my social anxiety. After, after I scared them away. It was definitely not easy. Because then I realized there's way too many people here. Sure, I wasn't as anxious as before because... Because I was angry. And being angry at something, it helps you forget about your fears because you're too angry to care about them. I know it's one of my biggest faults. Because I get too angry. I get too possessive. And I lose myself in the feeling of it. I just end up way too consumed by my own... My own problems. My own... Everything. I'm sorry. Bunny. But I'm gonna try harder. I'm gonna make you mine. Cause I don't know any other way to live. You're gonna think about me every day. Every waking moment of every day. By the time I'm done with this. Cause I'll make sure all the other ones. They're just second rate compared to me. Maybe I sound too much like people like Bakugo. But it's only because I don't know any other way. And I'm not letting them get near you again. Look at them looking from over there. They can look all they want. They can look as I kiss you. That's what I thought. Look at those jealous bastards. You think I'll let them have even a look? I want to taunt them more. I don't feel anxious at all looking at them. So what if they're looking at me? They can see us together, happy. They can see that you're my bunny and not theirs. <laughs> I don't care if I'm going too far because I'm not about to let them. I won't let them tarnish what we have. I won't let them take away from us our time, our feelings. They don't understand anything. They don't realize what we got. And they'll never understand. And that's why I don't need to care about them. They can look. Look at what they could have had. But we'll never get. And I'll dangle it in front of everyone. Because I'm not going to give you to anyone. There's no way in hell I would. Never. Not even if I could. You're mine, Bunny. You're mine through and through. Yeah, I get it. I'm one jealous boy. But sometimes I gotta be a jealous man. But the important thing is, I'm your jealous man, Bunny. We're two of a kind. A pair made in heaven. But I don't care if it's one made in hell. If I have to be a demon to protect you, then I'll make sure they never look at us the same. They'll take you away from this world. They'll be as greedy as the devil himself. Because, baby, I'm your devil. And I'll also be your angel. They'll be everything to you I possibly can. You know, sometimes when I'm thinking about it, all I can think of is... How much I want you to be my bunny. How I want to show you this world. Give it to you on a silver platter. I know it's not always that easy because the world isn't that nice sometimes. I know what happened in the past, bunny. You don't need to hide it. I know you've been struggling with it. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm your other half. Because you don't have to deal with the whole so much. No matter how you put it, no matter what you say, it's not just your burden to bear. I may got my own ones, but that doesn't mean that I'm not strong enough to take care of both of us. You've helped me too, don't forget that, Bunny. When I felt low, when I was at my breaking point, you held me up. You gave me a hug and a kiss and made me feel like I'm a person again. And I want to do the same for you. And if in the process I have to beat the ass of everyone who thinks that they can get in our way, then they better be prepared, because I'll take them all on at once. 
I don't care what it takes. Funny. Nobody's gonna tear us apart. Nobody's gonna get in our way. Nobody's gonna even look at us sideways or else they're gonna get in real big trouble. I'll make sure every single one of those jerks gets what co what's coming to them. It's one of the very first times in my life I've been this angry. There's only been two others. But seeing people trying to get you, trying to get my bunny, you're mine, bunny. Don't you ever forget it. I won't let anyone have you. Just like I'll always be your anxiety boy. I know. That's not to label me for what I am, but I'm still working on it. When I hold your hand like this, I feel stronger, but it's when I let go. All oh, that anger wells up, because all I want is time with you. Moments that we could share. All I want is you in so many different ways that I can't even say, and I, I just want more. More time, more feelings. I'm greedy. I can never get full of feelings from you. I just want more. I crave more. I'm addicted to you, Bunny. I'm addicted to your kiss. I'm addicted to your touch. Feeling you wrapped around in my embrace. I'm addicted to all of it. I'm absolutely hopelessly addicted to where no intervention could ever save me. And I love it. That's the scariest part. Is how much I love my addiction to you. How much I would hurt. If it would make things work out. How much I'll stop everyone in our way. How much I'll work towards getting your your family to accept me too. I know there's some that aren't so great, but there's plenty that might be. Maybe there's some that understand you. Maybe ones that don't try and say how much they do. Because a lot of them, I think they might be a little pretentious with it. Kind of like mine. I wish I could say I loved my family super much, but it's not the same. I don't feel 1% for them as much as I do for you. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Do you think I'm a bad person for that? I don't hate them, I just don't know how to love them. They distanced me, and I'm not really sure how to bridge that distance when they, they made it so far. You're right. Maybe someday. Maybe someday they'll understand me. Maybe someday they'll understand you too. I'd much prefer that than just letting things go down a dark path or something like that. Not that I think it would, it's just... The only one that I actually need, Bunny, is you. The all the rest of this world. It could go away. Even if it was just us, in a world filled with nothing, I'd still be happy. I couldn't get bored holding you in my arms. Or embarrassing you against the wall like this. <laughs> it's you already know how I feel about this. You already know how... How very much... I love everything you do. How much I want more of you. How greedy. A man you're dating. I'd never stop. Never in a million years. And that's what makes me me. Because I can't. I'm honest. Honest to a fault. And that's why I know it. I know that there's no stopping me. Not all the heroes or villains in the world could lift a finger to stop these feelings. Even if they lock me away, I'll gnaw at the walls until I can break them. I'll swallow everything. And I'll make it a void if they get in my way. And as for you, my beautiful bunny, 
You're what keeps me sane. I know. There's Miria, too. Good friends are amazing. He's a best friend. But even he can't replace you, you know. No one can. There's only one bunny in this world for me. And that bunny is you. You know, baby, not a single person in this world could ever replace you. Or make you less special to me. In fact, if they even tried, I'd probably lash out at them. I hit them with a tentacle or something. But I... I can't do it. I could never in a million years let you go. I want you to feel all of the love, all of the romance, the perfect relationship. Physically, mentally, emotionally. I won't settle for just one, or maybe even two out of three. I gotta give you everything. Absolutely everything this world has to offer and so much more. Because I'm not like the other guys. I refuse to be. I refuse to be complacent no matter how good things get. I'll always be trying to improve myself and make you happier and make myself happier. Because I want a life I can be proud of, Bunny. I want a life that we both can be proud of. One that we never want to end. One that we don't have to let end. We could be super happy. Go have fun every night and just do whatever we please. I know we're just here. Here just eating. In a food court. Having fun, but I want every day to be special. I want every day to be a date. A fun one. One where we can enjoy it. I know what I've said before. Now I didn't want to get involved in the big stuff that's going on. I know what's going on. Maybe I will. If I think it's going to threaten you, damn well I will. Because I'm not going to let this world backlash us. I'm not going to let it come out and bash our happiness down to the ground because I won't accept that. And I'm not about to let people take us down. I don't care how good they are. I don't care how evil. None of that matters anymore. It's all blurred in this mass of lines that I don't care to cross. But I will. If anyone dares to make things go down a path I don't like. I'd even fight Miria. And that's sad. He's my best friend. I trust him, but... If I have to pick sides between my bunny and my bestie... I'd never like to, but I'd always choose you, Bunny. Because I don't know any other way. There isn't a single doubt in my heart, though, that you're the one. The one and only person who's managed to ever break through to my heart in this way. The one and only person who I could actually relate to on so many levels and just get along with. You've made me feel like I'm an actual man instead of just... Some idiot. Some person who's too shocked to say everything. You've made me more bold. That's why I'm bold in how I want you. I'm bold in how I want to take care of you and protect you from all those scumbags who want to take you away. I can't stand them. Bunny, I want to do them in. I want to hurt them so bad because I can't stand it. They hurt me every single time. They make me so angry. Because every time they make me shake. And when I shake, all I want to do is strangle them because they... They tried to take you away. I don't care if it's innocent. I don't care what their excuse is. They did it. And that's their sin. And anyone who trespasses on our happiness... I'll take them out. I swear to you, Bunny. There's so much... So much I want to tell you more than this, but I will. I just don't want to seem scary to you. I don't want to be a monster. Not someone who makes you feel uncomfortable or sad or anything. Because that's never what I wanted. 
It's just I feel I have to be. Because this jealousy that wells up, I don't know how else to express it. And if I let somebody take you away, I'd never forgive myself. I'd be so sad it's not even, not even a bad joke. It would kill me inside, honey. And if you ever had eyes for someone else, I don't know what I'd do. I'd never harm you. But I'd still want to harm them. Does that make me a monster? Or just madly in love with you? I can't tell. Because sometimes that line blurs, Bunny. Sometimes that line blurs. I have doubts. I have problems. I have so many different things. But the one thing I can't do is let you just go away. Let someone hurt you. Trust you to someone else. No way in hell. I want to stay with you forever and I won't take any other answer. Because I'm spoiled. It's just like it was always said. Even though I take care of everything. Even though I crossed all the P's and Q's in my life. There's never been a time when I felt like I wasn't spoiled. Only with you, Bunny. It feels like a good way. Feels like a way I can believe in. Like I'm not doing something horribly wrong for once. Like I'm actually working towards a goal that we can both enjoy. Like I'm working towards a future with you that I actually want. A future that for once in my life doesn't get chosen for me. Doesn't get put down a line of things that just have to get done because of someone else's will. Because someone else wants it done. Because it's a chore, because it's a duty. I don't want any of that. I want my life to be about me. I want to be the main character again. And I want you to be the main character too. You could be the deuterologist to the protagonist. Or you could be the protagonist. I don't care if I'm the deuterologist. It doesn't matter. Because all I want is you. This spoiled brat of a man. I don't care how spoiled I get because I won't give you to anyone. And I won't let anyone even look at you funny. I'll smack that smile right off their face if they keep staring. They know. They know not to mess with me. They can see it in my eyes how serious I am about you. Can you see it, Bunny? Can you see how serious I am about you? I sure hope so. Because I'm not backing down. And I'm never changing because I don't know any other way. Because I couldn't live with myself if I changed and it made a bad decision that ended in failure. That ended in you getting hurt. Do you think I could just live with that, Bunny? No. I'd live with that shame for the rest of my life and that's why I've tried so hard. Yeah, I'll make mistakes, that's fine, but I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up on making you feel special. On making you feel like you can touch the stars. I'll lift you up every single time. And I'll protect you from everything. Even your family if I have to. Even if they don't approve of us. I'll steal you away. We can elope. I'll take you as my own. We can run away. Leave this cruel world behind. And we can make it on our own. Because I love you. Do you love me? <laughs> it's simple, isn't it, Bunny? As long as we got each other, we'll be okay. As long as we stick together, everything's gonna work out, I promise. And my promise is, I want to mean something. Unlike so many who make empty ones. One of my biggest pet peeves in the world is liars. People who get your hopes up and then use you. Abuse you for it and lie. I can't stand it. The feeling of helplessness when you find out something's a lie. When you find out someone precious, someone you thought you loved, was lying to you, it takes away so much. That's why I will never tell you a lie. I don't have it in me. It's terrible. It's horrible. I could never in all my years get myself to do it because I didn't want to be like them. They wanted me to be like them. They thought it was a good thing. Useful. Manipulating others. Getting power. Getting money. Getting fame. That's nothing to me. 
I could get all that on good terms and not have to feel like crap after it. That's why I've done so much to make sure that I've kept myself clean. Kept myself in good standing and not messed things up. Because I have no intention of giving myself up. No intention of ever giving you a reason to be unhappy. Because I'll plow. I'll crush anyone. Anyone who dares to take away your happiness. Because I won't let you have yours taken away like mine was back then. And I know you've lost it before. You probably don't trust everyone. Maybe you're right not to. But it's okay. Trust me instead. Those fake people, they'll get what's coming to them. They always do. Karma. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? You know what they say. What comes around goes around. So I figure if we do some good in the world, it's bound to make our lives better, right? It's ironic. Me trying to be like Mirio. It was because I saw him as strong. Determined. Awesome. All the things I didn't think about for myself. But I'm done walking in anyone's shadow. I'm done trying to be like anyone else. I'm my own man. And I'm your man, Bunny. Maybe I say it too much. But by looks of it. By your reaction. I don't say it enough. Bunny, you're irresistible to me. Like a magnet, I can't get away. Even if I wanted to, I'd always come back to you. Because honestly, there's nothing more happy to me than my bunny. Than the one who makes me smile every waking moment of every single day. Even when I feel like ripping out my eyes. I don't because I feel your love. I feel how much support you've given me and I believe in you. We built up trust. We built up a relationship where no one thought we could. I didn't even know what to think when I first met you. And now look at us. Maybe it's not some glorious fancy restaurant or something. But we're spending our time together. And I can protect you. Just like I did back then. Don't fear. I will make sure no one ever hurts you. Never again. It doesn't matter what happens. You're my bunny. And I'm gonna take responsibility, okay? You just relax. I like doing this. Where our foreheads are together. We can look at each other. Feel each other's warmth. And just hold one another. Maybe it's cheesy. But I don't care. Because that's not why I do it. I do it because my heart's in it. 100% my heart's in it. I can't. I could never. Ever look at you and not see my dreams. My hopes. My happiness. All in one. Bunny, you're the one who, who I should be thanking. You think I've done so much for you, but you've done just as much and more. Don't forget that, Bunny. I love who you are. Who you're slowly becoming it inspires me. You've helped me with my anxiety. You've held my hand. You've made me feel like I'm not just some kind of child. I feel like I'm a real man. Not just... Not just a boy. No longer am I just curling in a ball. Too scared to do anything. I even... am confident enough to take on... Anyone. If they try and make you feel sad or take you away, I'll take them on in a jiffy. Honey. My beautiful bunny. I want you to always look at me, 
just like this. I want to see you. I want to see you. Every day when I wake up, every night when I go to sleep, I want to see you. In every high and low of my life, I want you to be there for everything. Every cuddle, every kiss, every time I hold you just like this, you're mine. You're all mine. Bunny, why don't we... Why don't we go? You finished your meal and I... I think I lost my appetite. Well, I ate enough already. You know what it does to me, so... I gotta be careful what I eat. And... Besides... If I want anything... If I want to taste anything, it's just the taste of your kiss. The taste of your embrace. The taste of your love is more than I could ever. It's all I want. You're all I want, Bunny. Let's go home. No one will bother us there. And we can cuddle to our heart's content. And make things even more special. I love you so much, Bunny. I wish I could say a better word that's more fitting. Because I feel like I love you isn't good enough. It's just not... Not to the level I want it to be. I feel like anyone can say it. The word is cheap. But how I mean it. How I live it. How we make it. It just makes me feel like you're everything to me. You are. You're my whole world. And every time you go away, it makes me sad. And every time you come back, it makes my world sunshine again. Now come on. Bunny. Let's enjoy ourselves. A nice night on the town. Just a little bit more and make our way back home. <laughs> You've been awfully patient with me considering I was about to lop off their heads. Is it that you like when I get possessive of you? Usually it's you being possessive of me. Not that there's many people who dare to come up and actually do anything. When we're together, I think they'd be too scared. I mean, if they tried, they wouldn't be able to stand a chance. They'd be... They'd be completely overwhelmed, I think. Either my awkwardness, or your possessiveness, or my possessiveness, or something. I'd never want to make you jealous. Well, I'd like to see your jealous face, though. Did you like mine? I get fierce, because I don't know any other way. When it comes to you, it's like threatening my treasure, threatening the thing most precious to me, and I can't handle people who would dare. Anyone who would can go away. They can rot. And... Home. I am glad that we can share this humble home, that we can have happy memories here, and I'm thankful for all you've given me. I know it's not material, but who cares about materialistic things? I don't, not by a long shot. Materialism is nothing compared to love, compared to our love that we share with headbutts and cuddles and kisses and sweet things. Maybe I'm still a softy, but you've made me want to make you never forget that you're mine today. 
those guys and that girl who were all trying to get your attention like that made me want to burst. And now I can't think of anything else but you. I can't think of making any other words than ones that will make you mine. Bunny, I'm not going to hand you off to anyone. And I refuse to. I absolutely refuse to. You're mine for life. You understand that, Bunny? Just this once. You're gonna have to deal with the monster I am. Just this once. Don't hold it against me. If I drive you crazy. I love you, bunny. I love you way too much. It's cold outside, but together we're pretty warm, aren't we? I'll warm you up, bunny. That's a promise. I think I just know just the trick. Well, you see. If I kiss you here, and then here, and then here, your body will warm up very quickly. You're mine, bunny. You're all mine. Looks like you're feeling warmer already. What's the matter, bunny? You're usually so commanding. Why this time any different? Can't handle the monster in front of you. Don't feel bad. Because I'm a monster just for you. I've honed my body. I've honed my heart. My words. My everything. To make my bunny realize that I'm the predator now. Maybe just every once in a while. yourself today, are you? Not that I mind. But you're seeming awfully timid. Could it be me showing what I've got today? Made you think of a new scenario? I guess I have to try and find out. <laughs> You're mine. All oh, mine, bunny. You don't need to be anything else but mine. I don't care who tries to threaten us. 
You'll be mine for life. They can't stop us from being happy. They can't stop us from being ourselves. From making each other feel special. From making this miserable world into something better. Every single day. You can't escape me. Just like I can't escape you. You're mine for life, Bunny. And I'll never take no for an answer. I'll never let anyone try and tell us otherwise because they, they don't understand. They don't understand us at all. They don't understand the damn thing. And that's just fine. Let them think whatever they like. Because together, together, Bunny, we're way out of their league anyways. They can't. They can't ever have you. Because you're all mine. I'll be your man for life. And I won't take no for an answer. You're mine, aren't you? And say it. I'm your man. I'm your man, right? That's right. You said it. That's right. That's exactly what you are. You're my bunny. And there's no changing that. You can't stop me from making you more mine. The more this goes on, the more you're mine. The more you think about it, the more I'll make you even more mine. What's the matter, bunny? Can't say what you want to. Did I steal your breath away? Good, because that's not gonna stop either. You've got no escape room, no way out, because you're all mine, no matter which way you look at it. Come on, bunny, what's the matter? Where's your normal composure? You look like you're struggling a bit. What's the matter? Is something wrong? I guess so, because you seem to be quite shy today. Maybe I should see what I could do to help you with your shyness. Maybe giving you a reason to talk more. Maybe I should be a little more mad and a little less caring. Because, Bunny, I'm your man. And I won't take no. I won't take anything but your heart. Your everything. You belong to me. We belong to each other. And today, I'm making you mine. I'll make you remember just why you fell in love with me in the first place. And it's finally time I proved myself as a man. A man who's brave. And who can steal your heart away from anyone else. Tell me, what's in your mind, or is it blank? By looks of it, you sure look like you can't think. Did I steal away your ability to? Good. Because that's just what I wanted to. You're mine now. You're mine no matter what you say. Because you can't deny it. You can't even say anything right now. Because you're all mine. No, just accept it. You're mine for life. You're mine. You're my everything. Now don't ever look at anyone but me. Because I'm all you'll ever need. Ever. You're all mine. Bunny, I love you so much. Why do you always do this? You seem a little shocked. What? Surprised that you're man? Knows how to make you feel shy. That's not the only way I know. There's a whole lot more than that. Because I'm just getting started with you. As if I could leave a job half done. I've got to make you feel like you're the most special in the whole wide world. i got to make you feel like there's no one else in this world who could even come close to that big, beautiful heart. There's no one who could come close to me. Bunny, I'm your man. 
and while you usually take charge of things, today's my day to prove I want you all to myself. You're mine for life, got it? I don't care what he or she or anyone else says, because I don't think they matter at all. They're just extras in our life that could be. I don't care about them. All I care about is you. And it's high time I act. It's high time I act like the man you deserve. The man who can take you, make you feel like you're special. Make you feel like you're the most. Never let you fall down. Never let you have to deal with all that crap that the world always has. Instead, I want to bring you up. I want to hold you up so high that no one can ever reach us. Not on pedestals or something so f stupid. All I want is a place where we can be ourselves. A place where you don't have to feel afraid. Sad. Alone. Any of that. If it takes us eloping and running away from this madness, then so be it. As much as I want to help the heroes solve this, I don't trust them like I trust you, Bunny. And I know you're past, too. You're running from it. You're running from all those bad things, too. You don't have to hide it anymore, Bunny. I know. You used to be a villain. You're running from it. Then you became a hero. You became my hero. The one hero in all the world to make me feel special. The only one who could have ever saved me from myself. And for that, you'll always be the number one hero in my heart. And that's also why I realize I don't need to stick sides. I don't need to do things that are noble for the greater good. Sure, maybe it helps karma, but so what? That's not why I'm in it. I'm in it to protect you. And I'll do that. No matter who gets in my way. No matter who tries to tell me I'm wrong. It doesn't matter. Only you matter, Bunny. And I'll take good care of you. As your man. From now until forever. You never have to worry about a thing, okay? I'll take care of all the stuff that you don't want to. And I'll prove to the world that you're good enough. That we're good enough to not be involved in all that. I love you, my bunny. And I'll never let go.